Hey everybody, welcome to another Legions Imperialis Battle Report. I'm back with Rob, and we are throwing down the 1500 point level of our Escalation campaign as we go back and forth between Horus Heresy and the Legions Imperialis. Heck yeah. I'm excited. Uh, you're bringing your planes back, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> in a oh, big yeah. Way. Yeah. You, I will never not be bringing planes yeah. <laughs> or at least something with anti air in it because holy yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. I owned the skies last it game. It was just brutal. Yeah. If, if, even if all I do is take down a flyer around, that's huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. We realized that there was a certain level of, um, of you have to have a balanced force in case your opponent takes planes. You, you need at least one combat air patrol to yep. hold back to like hunt the opposing planes to try and get them out of the sky. Because I think I think if we summed up the two things from last game, I had a lot of ability to relocate my army that mm -hmm. you didn't have. Yes, and so you were more stuck in your initial deployment, yep. and a lot of those problems could have been solved with list building even. Of dividing yeah. up and having an extra like yep. commander because you get a 100%. tank commander and armor company. So at the 1500 point level, we're going to mix things up again, change up our list a little bit. I will show the table, show the armies, and get this underway. Thank you. All right, so here is my 1500 points of Sons of Horus. Uh, two detachments, sorry, two formations, and an auxiliary uh, formation. My first formation is a Legio Demi Company, um, and it's got a tactical detachment with assault marines attached and two rhinos as outriders. Um, I have a Terminator Support Detachment, a Dreadnought Maniple Talon with an upgrade as a support detachment, my Legion Command Squad, and then another tactical detachment with missile launchers, plasma guns, uh, both of whom will be riding in the flyer sort of support, which is going to be the two Storm Eagles. Uh, then as my second one, I have a Legion Armored Company. Um, it's got as its heavy detachment, two uh, Kratoses, uh, and then as its tank squadrons, it has Psycharans and Predators. And then last but not least, it's supported by two Xiphon Interceptors. Finally, my auxiliary attachment is two Knight Serastus Lancers who have um, three plus ion shields and reach on their crazy lances. That uh, puts me at, I believe, about 1490 overall for my total. All right, so here's Rob's uh, 1500 points of uh, some Solar Auxilia Penal Legion. What do we yeah. got? Uh, so I got two uh, sub cohorts, which are identical. Uh, so one has the Lega Commander, one has the Tactical Command. Uh, they both have two min uh, rifle tercios, each with two flamers, uh, four sentinels each, four ogrens each, four velatari each. Uh, this one has the four Lehman Russes with Vanquisher battle cannons and uh, Laz cannon. Uh, the other one has two, four Malkadors, uh, each with uh, spons and Laz cannons, each with hull mounted demolishers, demolishers. Uh, two with Vanquisher cannons and two with the Laz cannon turrets. Uh, then I have two uh, Thunderbolts uh, with the upgraded auto cannons and Sky Strike missiles. And then my last formation is the Knights. I have a uh, Errant and a Paladin. Sweet, there it is. 1490? 1490, well. sweet. So here we are set up in much denser terrain this time. We've got some larger buildings. Uh, these are no longer available for sale. They're uh, from Impudent Mortal, which is unfortunately long defunct, as are these, which are from Foregrounds. Also, unfortunately, no longer available, but I love these. I've used these for Titanicus for years. They give you some nice, cheap and cheerful, long like line of sight blocking terrain. So for our destroyed ones, they're gonna count the same as a uh, area terrain piece. We'll just put the models on top as they pass through. The only difference is the cover they provide will still be available against flyers because they still have intact roofs. These are going to be Imperialis Grandis, so basically Civitas buildings that can garrison three troops, uh, have a 4 plus instead of a 5 plus save, and are, I think that's it. We're ready now to roll for a mission. Why don't you roll the first d6 and I'll roll the second this time. So second one's going to be a 3, first one's going to be a 6. 3 is No Man's Land, and then 6 is Forward Push. This has 6 objectives, they're on the 12 inch line at the... 18 and then 12 and 12, um, and the side deployments. So we're going lengthwise down the table this time. Three BPs for each uncontested marker that's uh, more than 18 from your battlefield edge. So basically, the further away they are, they're more. So it's three, five, nine, depending upon how far away they are from your objectives or from your battlefield edge. Right, secret secondaries, I get those two. So that or that. So with this one. All right, so we're going to control the battlefield. I roll a five. I see. All right, so I control the battlefield. I will choose to have you set up on this side over here, and I'll set up over here, and I'll set up the first. Yeah, it's, it's Hammer and Anvil. My first drop is the Knights, who will be over here. They uh, are independent, but because they have the same loadout, they have to be within two of each other. I'm complete. I've got my uh, Rhinos with their Outrider Assault Marines hanging out with the Predators over here. Um, it's like Heron's hanging out with the uh, Knight Lancers. 
Uh, and then flanking them is the group of Kratos's and the Dreadnoughts. Everyone else is either in reserve uh, or in a plane. Across from me, we've got the first of the two large supported um, units of uh, tertio Laz rifles. This one's got full flamer support. Uh, over here, we've got some Axemans, which I think are a separate unit. Uh, Velatari are their own support Don't unit. Much, yeah, yeah. Two Laz rifle tercios, each with two uh, flamers added into and them. The this has the uh, junior sub commander. commander. Yep. Uh, the four Malkadors, uh, the Knight Errant, and the Knight Paladin, uh, another Tercio, more Velatari, um, Karanite Ogrens from the this group, one yep. group, Karanite Ogrens from that group. Yep. There's the Legate uh, with his Tercio, four Lehman Russes. The Sentinels from the other group, Sentinels from this group. Your Thunderbolts are in reserve. All right, so we're into round one. And it is order of time. Before that, though, the Sentinels are going to get to make an advanced move with their scout. And they walk, what, eight? Seven. Seven. Heading forward, getting in the war. Going on an adventure. All right, now it's orders phase. Revealing. Uh, predators, marching. Marines and Rhinos, marching. These guys, marching. Knights, marching. Tycharians, marching. These guys, marching. Marching! The guys who are in airplanes, they are engaging, engaging. Oh, engaging. I forgot. Mares can't arrive yet, so they get no order right now. Ew, airplanes. Advance. All right, advance. Sentinels, march. Sentinels, march. March. Lehman Russes, advance. These guys, march. These Ogrens, march. These Ogrens, march. These Velatari, uh, march. I ran Not out. fall back, yes, fine, yeah. Uh, this Tercio marches. This Fal falls forward. Knight advances. This knight advances. These Malkadors advance. March, march, march. Tremendous. All right, initiative round one. I rolled a four. Again, it's first turn. One. Now you get to go first. Hey, right. um, the advantage. Let me do this unit of Eighth and Sentinels. Did they get the double? They on twenty-one. Sick. All right, my trucks are gonna go and also march. They go double, which means their nine turns into an 18. So there's eight, there's 16, and then two more. To you. These Sentinels marching. Same for my Marines in the Rhinos. Uh, they can go nine. Whoop, to here. If you're gonna disembark in the building. Oh no, I can't because I marched, never mind. We're gonna go with the Assault Marines and they get to go 21, so eight, 16, 21. There we go, hang next to this objective. Still be within, sorry, it needs to be within six. There we go. March. Go Atari, yep, gonna march. So they go 15. Go 15. Zip into the terrain. Here. Go get them, Axe Boys. Knights, marching their nine, so eight, 16, uh, 18. So they can move two more and go this way. Go hide behind this building. Whoop. And then same for him. Back to you. This last rifle tree was going to march. Going 15. Getting in the war. Going on here to my Kratos's. They're also marching, so they go 16 total. I'm just gonna go zip behind this. Paladin, yeah. Taking a step forward, just going his four. That's eight total. Total. Little Psycharans, they're gonna run up. And they're gonna go march into cover. Back here and back here. Take that objective. Malkador getting the move on. This is a problem for my planes because you have a significant number of them. Oh, we gotta do it. <laughs> so my deployment line's right here, and I get to move 25. Mm -hmm. Transportees are getting out, and they are inhabiting this building. 
Here comes the T-bolts. So what's the <laughs> deployment rule for so this So you thing? put them touching any of your edges, so 12 over and then all the way across your deployment edge, and then you move them in a straight line with one 90 degree turn. So just along an edge and then you can fly and turn. There it is. Making that 90, oof. And then you get interceptor, so you can fire at me at minus two. Yep. So minus two because you're going after me. You don't hit on sixes though because you have Skyfire on all these guns. Doing the Thunderbolt Twin Link Glass Cannons. Sure are. Hitting on sixes because minus two is for this. Yep, right? they have accurate. Uh, nope. Okay, so no rerolls. Wow, that's not great. Uh, let's do the Avenger Bolt Cannons. I think mean, that's 10 shots. This is the one with lots of shots, yeah. yeah. So you should get a couple of these. Uh-oh. No. Doing the Sky Strike. Oh no, missiles. come on, Sky Strike missiles. Do these have accurate? They have tracking. Tracking, let's see what that is. These have tracking, so you get to re-roll re -roll your misses on sixes. I just get to re-roll my misses. Yeah, that's what I mean. But you're not sixes, right? Because are they four plus normally? Yep. Okay. And again, you got one. It's one, so a three plus goes to a four plus. I'm good. The bad news. <laughs> the bad news is the Xiphons have come for you. Yep. Here we go. We're coming in the side too, so you can't shoot back as later on. Yep. <laughs> it was always the turn this was going to happen. All right, so Xiphon. Xiphon last cannon raise, two shots each. Accurate anti tank Skyfire. Okay, so the last cannons. Wow, those Xiphons are just better than my Thunder. On sixes, they should be. They're 100 points each. Oh, geez. I already rolled two sixes, and I can reroll for accurate. Just two. Two at minus one. Uh, this must be fives. Five plus. They're going to be fours. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. A uh, one and a roll again. How much damage they could take? One or two. Oh, I have bad news. Off to the farm in the north where you play with the other puppies. More of the skies belong to the space marines, but that was my last activation. I forget to activate everybody else now. See, what I think I would have done is I would have waited to bring on the Xiphons until everything else in my army had gone, or the Thunderbolts until everything else in my army had gone. Because then I would have had to have had these guys come on already, and I couldn't have intercepted you just now. Yeah. Right? Because I'm done now. I can't. Oh, no, I still have my these guys, but you, you have. I just have my dreads left. All right, so we're going to go uh, and go 15 with the dreadies, and they're going to hide around here. Just being a mob of dreads, ready to bring the noise. They are done. All you now is all of my stuff is now activated. So Russ is up. The activation control here for the uh, auxilia cannot be understated because you have so many more activations than me. Mm -hmm. Circle Tercia, they're gonna Going in. get in that building. I feel like getting them out of my, that building is gonna be my life's work because I have no way to take them out. Mm -hmm. Ogren's going 15 because they are speedy quick. Other Ogrens. The same. Following up. Bring it up the rear. There's this team over here. We're gonna march. Whoops. 15. And just be in the ruin. Just be in the ruin. Yep, because you cover against the planes at least. Yep. The Excellent charging. Also gonna go in the ruins. There. Get in the ruins. Yeah, makes it right up. Right in my business. Into here. That is that. Okay. Well then we are into the combat phase. Yep. Starting with me, because I have priority. So I'm gonna go with this unit of tactical marines. And they're going to shoot this laser rifle to show. We have four stands with bolters. Um, they get to double their shots because they're in half range. And they have the um, light trait, which means I can reroll my ones because I am Sons of Horus. So looking at fives. So there's one, two, three, and then rerolling ones. Three. Three saves against these guys. Am I getting any cover against this? Or? No, you wouldn't get cover against this because I can see all of you. Save. Six to pass though. Four shots from the missile launchers. These are also light AT because we're using the blast version. Frag, so I get to reroll ones. Uh, that's going to be two rerolls. So three hits. No cover again, but there's no cover to had. On sixes, no, no AP. Three more. And that's plasma rifles, of which nothing else is copy bolters. They have accurate and assault. Yeah. So just uh, accurate lets me reroll everything. Uh, so just one. One more save. No. Morale check for them. 
This is the boss stand, yeah? It's fine. Okay. We're gonna fall back uh, and get a broken order at the end of the turn. Yep. They are not a two because they're not the Supreme Command. You, who didn't march, is your knights? Everything with a token, so the knights and the tanks. Basically. Got a knight in the building. Smart. Which is thermal cannon. Does it have bunker buster? It has demolisher, so it'll ignore cover. Oh, cool. After stands? Those guys, yeah. I don't have anything specifically for taking out the building, so it feels like I might as well just go after them. Go for them. Uh, so two shots at four plus. Minus two, because I'm in the Civitas. Don't I ignore because of demolisher? Oh, because of demolisher, yes you yeah. do. Yeah. One, three, okay, well, I get cover, no, I, you ignore cover, so I get no cover. I get my Feel No Pain. Older Stand dies because Feel No Pain does not apply to anything that doesn't have the loot trait. Stubber? No. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna go Storm Eagles and they're gonna start shooting into that unit of Malkadors. So my Heavy Bolters could point defense into these guys, which they will. Um, so that's gonna be six shots, half range, so I get my reroll ones because of the traits. Uh, so six shots on minus uh, one because you're in cover. Um, and you get your cover save against us of five, so that's going to be a six to hit. And I'll reroll all these ones, at least. Does one. So one cover save. Five up. Oh, lose stand. Uh, then the Vengeance, sorry, is the Vengeance launcher? No, the Tempest Rockets, because I chose that one. Two shots into the Malkadors on twos. Two hits. Uh, it'll be minus two. Fives. Nope. There's one. And then it's gonna be the wing mounted last cannons, four shots. And they are at minus one, hitting on fours. So just one hit and one more save, minus one. Yep. You're good, those guys finished. Throwing the battle cannon into the flyers over here. See what happens. Hang on sixes. Nope. And that was the knight done. And then I got the Xiphons. A little bit too far away with the Xiphons to shoot the Malkadors, so we we'll shoot the knight instead. We two shots with the accurate last cannons each. So uh, it's gonna be four dice on fours. And they're accurate, so I can roll these. So one, two, three. Three minus one, but you do have your shield, so you just ignore it completely and get your iron shield if you want, or your armor, which I think it ends up being the same because you're like three plus, four plus, aren't you? You get shot in the front, your iron shield save is your optional save, and it ignores a point of run. So if it's if the AP is two or better, you yeah. take the iron shield. So what's the AP on this? Minus one. So in this case, you just roll in four plus save. Regular. Yeah, do your armor save. Past two. And then the Xiphon Rotary Launcher. Uh, and this one is two shots each as well on fours. So just four hits, hit minus one, same thing. Two wounds. Okay. And now it's all my shooting. Now okay. and Russes. They're gonna just try and shoot into the night. So it's Rastuses, that makes sense. I got one out of cover, so you can just hit them in the open. Two shots, yeah. definitely out of cover. Sorry, am I, sorry, am I minus to hit? Nope, here? no, he's in, he's in the open. Both it. hits. Minus one? Uh, minus two for the vanguard. Minus two, okay, so then I will use my ion shield. These guys have a three plus ion shield, so they're gonna ignore one point of that and go to a four plus. Okay. Uh, and fail both. <laughs> he's got I'm one wound left. Ow. Cool. That's gonna turret, yep. This will be four, four shots. Four shots, oh my god. No, two, two shots. Two, only two, yeah, it's only one left, yeah, okay. It's like, that's a lot of shots. Accurate? Uh, nope. Okay. Shot each with Lazcan and Sponsons. So that should be three more. Uh, yeah. <sighs> uh oh. Are they accurate? Mm -hmm. The Russes can definitely see the Knights over here. Oh. To go to 32. Oh, nothing? Okay. Well, then that's turn. Uh, so, in a round, uh, anybody fleeing falls back. So these guys are going to move double. Go Run back, back 10. No, oh, no, thank you. Which is extremely bad. So that means we're going to score 3, 6, 11, 18. We're going to score five, 3 plus 5. Within 3 of that thing with the back sentinel. Yeah, man. Oh, Who's up? Let's do some orders. Hey, orders down. So I'm going to reveal a first fire on these Marines. Uh, I've got a charge on these assault Marines, an advance on the Predator Squadron, a march on the um, Tacticals, a advance on the um, Psycharans, a charge on the Knights, got advances on both flyer units, and a charge on the Terminators who can now deep strike. A charge on Team Dreddy, and an advance on the Malkador. Right over here. Uh, charge, charge, not charge, march. March, yeah, yeah. March, these Oberons will march, these Oberons will march, these guys will advance. This unit. It's first time? No. Advancing? advancing? Marching, advancing. Get your paladin. 
is advance, advance, military advance. These guys advance. And you can give it order to the unit back there. Initial roll for round two. I get a one, which means you're going first. Then let's run for it. Oh yeah. What's the scale on those two? Moving over. Because you ran away from my Terminators. I think you can run away from my Dreadlots too. Right, moving for me, we're going to go with the Assault Marine. First with these guys, uh, they're going to uh, make a march move and head up to here and up to here. And the Assault Marines are going to be charging and that means they're going to charge over here, 14. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that I'm hung out like that. Oops. In we go. Ruskies. Heading up to go gun down some dreadnoughts. Uh, we're gonna go with the Psycharans, and they're gonna just go sideways like this to hold the zone, but also be able to shoot something. Over here, you're like, I want nothing to do with these Thrasus Knights. 115. Reds are gonna go. Uh, they're going to start moving, I think, a little cautiously, but they do go eight. So they're gonna rip around this way. Just come around the building, so you can line up some shots. Hopefully not get charged by Ogrens. Ogrens also relocating out of the way. Bring on some Xiphons. I'm just gonna go fly straight in like this. They're just gonna go into cover. Move the bell into cover. Storm Eagle's gonna come flying in from the side. Fly back to the up. Okay. If you guys move zero, because they're on a rather. Like Legit superstar or junior, junior officer coming back. Going up. With a vengeance. Just gonna fall backwards with the Kratos's. Stay within three of this objective. But get in range of your sentinels. So you're just gonna stay where they are. Okay. Well, the dreads are just gonna move back and hold the zone with their charge, because they don't have anything they can charge. Pong in the rest of the squad with their advance. Just getting more guys in base to base. So would there be like a couple guys? Yeah, the two, the two guys that I initially charged and the other ones were just piling, yeah. Two on one and a three on one. Thrasses are gonna charge into this uh, unit of infantry in the charge order. Just go piling in. 16. That guy's got one one left. And I've just got Terminators in the sky. Do your pylons? Yep. Might as well. Ironically, even if you didn't pylon, we'd still fight all of them because I have the reach ability on my yeah. thing. It's not a choice, it's just forcing the issue. Go for it over here with the Terminators. I don't want to get Ogrind, but I don't really have a choice. Right, we land on target, and then they're going to charge these Sentinels. Ah, uh, they're going to charge these Russes. Yeah, this is the best I can do, I think. This is the most valuable thing I can go and fight, I think, because the Sentinels aren't necessarily a trade, <laughs> whereas Russes, I think, are a trade. Malkadors are going to pincer maneuver, and so is the Paladin, and I think that's turns movement. So we're on to shooting, and you have priority. These are gone, because they march. These guys just move, so they can still do something. Do you have any first fire? No. I do, so I'll use my first fire. So I think we're going to first fire into the Malkadors with these guys. They don't have a lot of guns that can hurt them. Um, but they do have uh, crack missiles they can fire and they have plasma rifles. Other options, I could just unload into these Velatari and maybe actually kill them. I, I think that's what I'm gonna do, do actually. actually. They could do something, yeah. If you wanna do something before we go and do first fire. Uh. Well, they can't end an engagement though. No, they can just walk down though. Eight and charge next turn. They, they will not be able to charge next turn. He's not close enough. Oh, true, yeah, yeah. They could move towards him, maybe. That's the best I can yeah, do. Yeah, get it towards him. Makes sense. So then we're going to drop our crack missiles in the back of those tanks uh, on fours. Nothing. Great. And then light AT from the plasma guns. Nothing. Command uh, does not get anything for his comic bolters. Done. That's my first fire. All right. Uh, I'm going to throw going to the knights. All right. They are minus one because I'm engaged. Although I'm not pinned. They both fail. Twin last cannons. Two hits. Hit okay. at uh, minus one. Okay, so it's not my front arc, which means my shields don't kick in, so I just get my, my armor, and minus one means I'll be on fours. Pass, pass. Well, so one's cocked. Pass, one. They're only two wounds each? Three wounds each. 
Glass can sponsons, minus one. Two. All right, so again, on fours. Pass fail, take a wound. He's got two left. Way. Washers. No. Nothing. All right, well, let's do some, I guess, of these predators. One predator sponson, he's the only one that's in range of that knight on nothing. <laughs> Not that, so they're done. Todd's gonna try and finish off the Strassus Knight, that makes sense. Hope so. So I am in the front arc again, so my shield will kick in. Two RBF shots. One on six, One. and it's rapid, so it's two hits, right? Yes, two hits, uh, minus two. Minus two, so minus two becomes minus one, so I get a four plus for my flare shield. Pass, pass. All right, we're gonna go to, I think, the Kratos. An absolute feat of overkill. We're gonna fire uh, melt a blast guns at them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> On force and nothing. And we're going to fire a coaxial auto, auto cannon for four shots on fives. Uh, how about nothing, except they are accurate, weirdly. Nope, there's coaxial, Never mind. And then we have home mounted heavy bolters of which I have two, and then two helmeted last cannons. So heavy bolters will be two shots on fives. One, so one with no AP save. Uh, four, and then I'm gonna have two uh, Kratos, sorry, two Sponson heavy bolters on fives. One with no mods. Oh, sorry, but I'm within half range. So just still one. Another wound. I've got double Kratos last cannons which are accurate, so many guns. they do. Uh, Rerolling, it's on fives or fours. Back to you. Hey, Lehman Rushes can fire, can't they? Uh, their scale is bigger than mine, so yes. Some pistols into these Marines Basically at good. minus two, because of cover. Good need sixes. Yeah, always sixes. No. <laughs> they scorch the walls slightly. Uh, Hands can't see anything, back to you. Right. Throw a bow catch right here. Eight? Eight, won't be Just out. Xiphons, they're gonna start shooting some Ogrens. Close ones. Um, so that's going to be two shots from the last cannon array. Goes to four because there's two of them. And they are accurate. So one, two, three saves into these Ogrens. No mods though because they have anti tank, which means you're not armored. It's just regular armor saves. Did you pass them all? Uh, sixes or fives? Wow. Uh, then the rotary launchers is going to be four more shots. No rerolls for this one though. How about four hits? Uh, these are not anti-tank, so you're gonna get minus one. Uh, they all die. You. Uh, well, they can pull this one off because they can't fire because they're engaged. And then the yeah. storm eagles will fire over here. Uh, so that's gonna be the heavy bolters first, and they are fives, so six dice into the ogrens. Uh, two, two just no AP. Two dead. And then the tempest rockets, two shots on twos. And then just one at minus two. And the wind mounted last cannons. Just, uh, yeah, that's gonna be two more, but no AP. Pass one. Whoa, failed one. Okay. So all the shootings, we're on to combats uh, over here in the building. So it's not actually a building, but you're gonna have three chances to fight each one of these Marines. What ends up happening here is we all die, actually. So the first one, I'll be calf plus three plus four because I charged. One D6, I'm plus four. Uh, if you're in base to base with the friend, you're close. Oh, you don't have closer. That's right. They're not the Belatari. Just D6. Calf zero, baby. If I roll a one, I didn't. So dead. Okay. So the first one dies. Now you get two D6 though for the second one. And I get one D6. I got a 10. I got a six. All right. The second one's gone. Now you get three D6 though. Ooh. This is the one that kills me. I got a 10. I also got a 10. All right. So we tie. So that one lives. And then we repeat the process, but two times here. So the first one. Plus four, I got a five. Uh, three. All right, so I got him, and now you get 2d6, though. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> I got an eight. What'd you get? I got a six. All right, so the two die. So you still have a stand left, though, Ooh. and that's a fallback check. I'm looking for a four plus. You want to concede? 2d6 for the fallback check for this oh, guy. Fuck yeah, TP dude. withdraws. Oh, and it's going to be his so happy I get four? fours, double fours. Mm. Did he pass? Mm. <laughs> no? Nope. So d6 plus your movement is what you're going to fall back. So nine, nine so back that way. The Sarasa's knight, this lone survivor over here is gonna start stabbing some humans. I think I, I think I got this one in the bag. So I have a calf of plus 13 when I charge. Mm, six versus one, Ash. I think we know how this is going. Well, it's gonna, you're gonna have 66 at the end. 
That's true. Right? So I'm going to fight you six <laughs> times because my reach means I can fight everybody within two. Be chewing through those. So the first, the first one just dies because you can't roll a 13 on yeah. one die. The second one's 2d6. You could actually, you know, you couldn't get the second one either. So the third one you might be able to do here. The third one's 3d6. I'm going to get uh, 20. No. Okay. Awesome. So then the, the next one's 4d6. I get a 17. You could beat this one. Oh, it's close. What is uh, it? So that's 16. 6, 11, 15, 17. Oh my God, you lived. Yeah. All right. So, so then the next one, you're 5d6. <laughs> and I'm going to get a, oh my God, I got a 24. <laughs> you can do it. You're all 30. Oh my God, you're going so well. 5, 10, 15. Uh, that's going to be 21. 24. We tied. So the other stand lives too. All right. Last one. Uh, I got a total of 19. I'm getting tired. Two of the stands lived. Oh, that one's dead. <laughs> 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. No, no. So the last one's gone. But you had two stands survive and then make a morale check. I like these 10 guys were just like, not today, Knight. Not today. Uh, they're in range. So, so they're, they're fine. fine. Not shocking today, Shocking combat I've seen. I can't believe the two of those guys lived. All right, Russ is against Terminators. Uh, so one-on-one. -on -one. I'm plus four. And what's the Russ's plus? Calf two. Two. That's right. shocking. I got a four, five, six. Four plus. You lived. Six. Second one. I got an eight. You can roll six and still tie me. Oh, no. So you lose that one. Uh, the third one. Which one doesn't matter. One? Anyone you want. Uh, this one. I got a nine. That one's gone too. And then the last one. I got a two. So it's a six. No, he's gone too. Oh, and you are in range of your boss. So two plus, you're fine. Right, scoring God at the end of the round. Off the table. This, this guy flees. 10. And then my plans leave, yeah. All right, so uh, we're into orders phase for round three. But scoring, I'm going to get three, eight, plus seven is 15, plus three, three is... And you're going to get three. All right, so I have engage orders on my Storm Eagles and my Xiphons. Uh, on my Psycharans, I have a first fire. Uh, I have an engage order on my rhinos, the tactical marines, and a charge order on the assault marines. I got a first fire on the tactical company and an advance on the predators. A charge, because he's not engaged right now, because he's got no one in base to base with the titan. I have an engage on the Kratos and an engage on the uh, dreads. And then your sentinels, you've got an engage on. Over here, your Russ, you have an engage. These guys have an engage. The Atari have a charge. And then you've got on these guys, what? I don't see an order for them. First fire. And then you get your knight. And this other last uh, rifle tertio. Charging. Nice. Get that bonus, baby. First. And the tanks. First fire. Got it. You're advancing. Who else is advancing? Got it. All right. Well, then uh, it is initiative time for round three. I'm going first. I got a five. A three. All right. Well, then I will take the first. And I will charge this into your tanks. Like meow. Sorry, axe guys going to the terminators. I love it. We're getting an axe fight. Going 10. And I'll just counter charge in afterwards. I'm gonna go with these assault marines. Well, sorry, first with these guys. They're going to move forward like so. And then dip assault marines. We're gonna charge these Veltari. You just charge the Titans? They can do. <laughs> Go for it. I like it. Yeah, These so guys, they can just pile in. Everybody's got dancing partners. Predators are going to go. They're going to move up into the gap. I think going this way, actually. I'm going to go eight. The side Karens, they're going to just switch sides and go over this way. And third advance. Oh, no, it's over there. First fire. They're going to start over there. Move zero. Back to you. First fire, move zero. First fire, move zero. There's counter charge. So everybody's going to split up. And go get these guys and these guys. Oh no, silly! He'll stay engaged with that tank. Fire. Let's find knockers. Yep. Predators are gonna go. They're gonna start moving. I think towards this other objective. Going eight, and one is nine. Heading over this way. He's gonna go grab that objective. Yeah, it's smart. Stay line of fire the predators <laughs> if they can. As much as they can. Yeah. Uh, these fellows are just gonna. Hug the wall here. Their guns. Look around. 
Get off the tank. Smart. Well, let's uh, see that and raise you some big tank. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sentinels. Getting buys in the button. That one's going to come up here then. Take the spot the swimming wheels had. A little tertio getting in range of his box. And then we're going to come flying up with the storm eagles to go line up on that night. Last but not least, the boss coming back for his glory. And it's me with priority, so first fire is going to go first. Let's flip our tokens and see who is shooting. Uh, it's these guys first, I think. And they're going to end up just, I think, plugging this tertio. They have nothing else for to shoot at. Uh, no, we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot this guy. <laughs> Actually, I can't even see him. I don't think I see, see any of these guys. So I'm going to have to put my missile launchers into the... Um, the building over there. Yeah, frag. The only shots, four shots on fours, because they ignore cover. One, two, three, four. Four saves in that building. Six ups. So four stand. One comes off, and that will be a fallback, though. Two dice, looking for two plus. Laughing. Are done, so that's all my first fire, except for this one. And they don't have a target, so back to you. Uh, rapid fire battle cannons, shooting my Preds over here. Predators. Yep, and they shed some cover from the ruins. So it looks like probably fives, but accurate. It's not Reroll accurate. misses. Accurate. Okay. Minus two. What oh, is rapid fire though? That's right. Yes. So minus two. Uh, needs a five, so one dies. Right. Range. Uh, it's got point defense, but I don't think it's got anybody you can see. As far as the Malkadors doesn't get used because they're engaged and pinned. And first fire is out of range with the uh, Lazarus and Tercio because everything's engaged and pinned. So then we're on to regular engage orders. Um, these guys have no target. Typhons are going to fire. They're going to fire into that uh, unit of Sun. Uh, Go for it. Are they? Yeah, why not? He's going to raise on fours. Rerolling for accurate. One at minus one in the Sentinels. They are anti tank though, so you actually don't get a minus one. I uh, still didn't save. Okay. Rotaries. No rerolls here, though. Fours. Just one. And this one is minus one. Eight. Laughs. All the guns from the Zyphons. They are finished. Back to you. Dreadnoughts. Shooting. Yeah, that's smart. The dreads are not uh, vehicles. They're walkers. You can absolutely do that. So we do six multi-laser shots. Oof. Uh, and they had rapid fire? No, just oh, light okay. AT. Light AT, okay. Uh, no AP. So that's going to be on the dreads. They have a three plus seven. They fill them all. And that kills all the assault cannons. Immediately uh, break test. They also are broken. So frag, looking for fours. One. With zero AP. And it could have done an anti-tank with minus one. Uh, let's go with some storm eagles. They're going to shoot into the knight over here, the uh, paladin. So we're going to go with the two, or the, sorry, the last cannon array first. Or mm, it's called... Wing mounted last cans. So four shots on fours. Uh, one, two. And you get your flare shield. What's the AP on this? Minus one. So your shield would be a four plus or your arm would be a four plus and it ends up being the same. Until it's minus two, I don't think the flare shield yeah. super matters. Fail both anyway. Oh no, and then it's rockets on twos. Just one. Uh, passed. Flare shield's minus two becomes a five, actually. Oh, so I failed. So you failed that one, yes. Yeah. It's twofold. Lull you into a false sense of confidence right. until you achieve a legitimate and justified sense of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you broke my, my dreads. I was firing at my preds. Poor predators. Anguisher misses. <laughs> Last cannon. Lands it. Hey, that hits. Uh, minus one. Minus one. Fours. Nope, he's on one. Uh -huh. And that is a break test now. And it's broken, so it's blow, blow half. Threes. Now we're good. Well, they'll fire back. Uh, I'll use my sponsons to take some shots at that predator. Predator cannon, two shots on fives. One, please. Light AT, though. Uh, so that means you do not have to have a mod. So just a three plus, two plus save. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, predator's done. The shooting's pretty much done. Well, it's just my Kratos is left, I think. Well, I've got these three Sentinels who actually can do their crack missiles into your z -fun. Sure can. Uh, crack it out. Looking for sixes. Looking for sixes. No. Kratos is going to go over here. I got two of the big cannons. Uh, one hits, so minus four. Get a six plus save. Into the Russ. From the Melted Cannon. No. 
Dreads can't fight, so it's in the combat phase. Pugilation over here, you got me with the axes. Yeah, I charged you. You sure did, and I charged you right back. So what do we got? Now you got two on one and a one on one. Which one do you do first? Two on one. All right, so first one you're getting your close order because you're in base contact with each other. Uh, for one, remember, your remember. base one, and then you've also charged. You're plus three. It's base because you have a rend as well. This close. You're going to be one base, right? Because they do have one base. One base, close order for two, charge for three. And you get two dice because you have rend. And I'll be plus five again because I charged. I got a six. You kill him. And then one on ones. You're terrifying. So you're plus three to my plus five, but you get 2d6. Uh, I got an 11 this time. Uh, plus three, that's a 10. So I kill the first one. Yeah. And then this next one's also one on one. I got a seven. You kill me. Holy moly. The Venetar, you're terrifying. And there's the assault marines over here fighting the other ones. Uh, they advance though, so they don't get their, they get the ren, but not the plus one. Yep. Uh, these two will get close order, this one won't. Yep. So it's gonna be a two on two and a two on two. First one, uh, you're rending, so you're gonna get two dice. Mm -hmm. I'm plus three plus four because I charged. And you're gonna be plus three with two d6. That'd be plus two. Oh, plus two because you didn't charge, that's right. Uh, I got a eight, nine. 13. Oh, jeez, why don't you kill that guy? And <laughs> the next one? These are just plus one. I got a 10. Uh, I got an eight. All right, so I killed that one, but now you get 3d6 with the second roll. Yep. I got a three. I got better than that. All right, so I, I am nine, wiped out. 10, 11, so I think you beat me in this combat because I killed one and you killed two over there, didn't you? A fallback check for them, and they're broken. They're fine. All right, and that's the big night. Uh, we're going to start off uh, picking a fight against a Malkador. Plus 15 on the charge. <laughs> Sorry, plus 13 on the charge with Rend. All right, so you're at plus what for the Malkador? It's plus two. The first one's one dice. I don't think you can actually win this one. I get a total of 17. Nope. <laughs> All right, so it dies. Uh, it sorry, die? it takes a wound. Oh. Next one. I get a 19. Gets a wound. Get, gets a wound. And the last one is a reach. I got 3d6 now. I get a 23. It gets a wound. Okay. The, store, the section of dudes. The little guys are going to have uh, plus one, two, three. So four dice for the next one. I get they a. They charge. They did charge. They have a one and so, two for close order. Yeah. So I got a 22. I could actually do you it. You could do this. Yeah. 22. You can kill me with these guys right now. Mm, uh, not quite. Eight. 10, 17. Last one's 5d6. I get a. Oh, I only got a 17 this time. 5d6. You can get me. I think I did. I think you did. That's 21, 23. I got one wound left. So this guy dies. And this guy's got one wound left. The night is is slowly getting destroyed by tanks and infantry. And I think that's round. That's all the combat. Scoring. I'm going to get 3, 8, uh, and then 15. And then another three is going to be 18 again. Malkadors Malkador, are worth oh, one each. Oh, no, you're actually worth more than because you're a walker. I actually have to fall back 10. So they're going to be back here. Oh, because they're broken. Right. I'm actually going to hold this one. So 7, 10 is what you're going to get. Right, this one as well. And the middle one, yep. So 5, so 15. So you're going to be at 26 on turn 4. Let's come off. Myers right. I've got an engage on the Psycharans and engage on the Predator. Uh, there should be an engage over there on the um, those guys, yeah. And then an engage over here on the dreads. Both planes have engage orders. We've got a first fire here, a first fire here, and a charge on the knight, and a charge over there on the dread. Also a charge. Makes sense. First fire on the sentinel. Smart. First fire on them. Charge. Charge. Um. These guys can only advance. That's right, because they need to be going six of him, don't they? And charge. Or not charge, but uh, march. March, yeah. yeah. March. Mm, they're broken, so they actually still can't march. Check oh. They can still advance, though. All right, round initiative. I got a five. A two. That's what it is to me. I'm going to charge over here. I'm being engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, so then I'm going to go with... I haven't done anything yet. Oh, sorry. I thought you were flipping your first fire, not moving. Okay, so that's first fire. This first fire is not moving. Back to you. Right, I'll flip that. Back. And then those guys not moving? We're just burning our, burning our first fires, basically. Marching the legate. Do you hate me? I don't. I think, I think you're great, and you're marching so great. I think it's going great. There you go. 
These guys are also first firing, so they stand still. And they're dancing. Advance these. Uh, they like where they are, though. They're going to move this way to try and see some sentinels. To advance, they can actually start getting some orders. Some actual orders, yep. Just above half. Predator's gonna walk up and grab this. Yeah. These fellows are gonna come watch you, like so. Yep. He's getting five. Back out the dreads. These planes up to here. Burns charge. And Stormbirds are going to go, not Stormbirds, um, Storm Eagles are going to fly up to look at no one. <laughs> uh, they're going to fly up to look over here. It's over here. And I think that's all our movement. So we flip. And who's got first fires? First fires in this uh, tactical detachment and this tactical detachment. I think that's it. Your sentinels do. Okay. So I can't do anything to stop these sentinels from first firing at me. So I think we're going to do this tertiary over here. Or this, sorry, this um, group over here. And they're going to start firing into the Axemans who are terrifying. Missile launchers on fours. Uh, they do have light AT, uh, but they're not in the close enough range. They can't reroll. So one hit at minus nothing. No. Bolters, one's in range. So we're going to be firing those. Uh, but only got four shots. Sorry, three shots because you killed a stand. Uh, one, two hits. No say or no mods. Both gone. Okay. That first fire finished. Blowing up my contemptors, these sentinels. Oops. These sentinels have got my number, man. <laughs> Just blowing up these dreads. Your crack rockets. Yeah, so we do my multi lasers first. Two, four, six. Hitting on fives. And do they have rapid? Okay, so three hits. And uh, so uh, can... minus nothing. Armor is minus nothing, yeah. So lose another one. <laughs> With those six frag rockets. Two. Two. Two saves. Again, three up. I lose another. So there's one left. And that's another morale for him. Three plus. Three good. Keeps his order. These guys are the first fire, but they get oh, a target. Okay. And that's back to you. Um, they're going to try their anti tank round into the Predator. Do it. But the only. Looking four. Fours. One hit, minus one. Mm, four plus. Dead. The last of the sun, or the last of the uh, predator. Well, uh, these storm eagles, we're on to regular fire now. Uh, no, they can shoot the, they can shoot him, he's big. If they got any guns that are in range, get some range. The base. Yeah, let's see you do. Yeah. Three of them left, but you might as well try. He's only got one wound. I'd do it. The rifles can't do anything else because they're light. All right, so then we're on to the uh, regular fire for advances. Uh, so I'm gonna go first over here and drop these Kratos's that can't seem to kill the Sentinels on fours for the Magna Cannons. One hits at minus four. The one with heavy bolters, I think can still hit them, right? Because you guys have armored, you're not vehicles, right? Yes, yeah, so this will actually do something. So the uh, sponsor mount heavy bolters is gonna be on fives. Nothing. Uh, you are in range for the reroll though, because within six. Nope. Those ones actually said couldn't actually reroll those. And then the last cannons, uh, one with accurate, one hit. So one up minus one. Nope. Then it's just the hole mounted, uh, is it Sponson auto cans, coaxial auto cans? That's going to be four shots on fives. Uh, nothing. One Kratos last cannon set. Uh, one hits and it's accurate. Two hits, minus one. Uh, that's anti tank though, so actually you ignore the AP. He's on a vehicle. Four up, say. Laughs. Although, Morale. and the two will fail. So he's gonna do a D6, or no, sorry, he just becomes broken, that's all. So you just got chargers, so then this last cannon on a four. Accurate. Hits. So one, minus one. Uh, but you ignore because it's anti tank. Saves on five. Wow. The trucks will shoot this guy, I guess. He's gonna do the Tempest Rockets on twos. One hit at minus two. So you get your in -ball. Who'd you shoot at? Your commander over there. So you get your in -ball. Nope. Okay, so now he goes. Just the Xiphons into the Sentinels over there. Two shots off each with the Xiphon last cannon array into them on fours. Accurate. So two at minus nothing, because it's uh, anti-tank. Not vehicles. But I failed to... Okay. Rotary missile launcher on fours. Two. Two more. Dead. It's just combats. So this one, yep. I think they all just take a wound because my minimum is going to be 15. 
Uh, so the second one could live actually. So this one will just die because D6 plus two is highest eight. But two D6 you could, if I get snake eyes here. I did. Two D6 plus three. Uh, plus cast three. You and hit a charge order. That's it. Six. No, so he's gonna die too. And the last one's three D6. 10, 11, 12, 15. I got 15 as well, so he lives. And then the last one, it's gonna be 46, and this is in the infantry squad. So I'm gonna be from close order. No, so I got a 23 this time. 10, 16, 17, 18, like 19, 20. Yes. I think Danny goes. So there's one of the Malkaders left. I have to make a morale and see if he falls back at 2d6. Uh, uh, one will probably fail. fail. d6 plus his movement. When? To withdraw. Didn't, wouldn't this so when you withdraw, for, so first thing in a fight you withdraw, then you fall back again later because you're panicking. So the withdraw is going to be, what's 13. his base movement? 13? Oh my god. So he's going to go 8 and then he's going to go 5 more yeah. and he'll end up like right here. Oh, no thanks. Tamir's getting eaten. So which one? We do the one on one or the two on one first? Uh, let's do a two on one. And it's the first one. My calf plus five. So Nine. Six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna kill one. Second one. I'm at five, six. Eight. Super dead. And then the last one. I'm at seven. Super dead. Yeah. And I'm wiped out. The round, I'm gonna score another 15 uh, plus three. So, and you're gonna score three. So at this point, you're not catching up. Uh, that's gonna be 69 for me. Yeah. And then it's gonna be uh, 29 for you. I um, try and hold more table quarters at the end of the game uh, is to have more contesting points in the zone. So I'm gonna have this one and this one. Uh, you'll have that one over there. So I'm gonna get a couple bonus points for that too. <laughs> you're not that dead inside. I'm always dead inside. You're always dead inside. It's true, yeah. yeah. What an odd way to start a video on a wargaming channel. You think I feel joy? That's not why I play any of these games. I'm glad I bought you dinner before we played that game. Oh, my um, God. If you hadn't, my, know. my anger would be real. <laughs> That's right, yeah. If it wasn't for the pad tie bur burgeoning inside of me, Holy bubbling away inside hell. of me. Um, well, that was a game. Uh, I do think there's two TSN turning points. The first one, obviously, was... The deployment style because i think i had a much better time crossing the board than you did yes right i, I had mean, transports i had flying transports i had a lot of ways of like getting up table a lot faster than your 15 inch marches could right yeah and i mean just the yeah it was solar auxilia has a lot of activations has access to a lot of stuff mm -hmm. but you it's easy to fall into a trap of skewing too hard in one direction with mm -hmm. them, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and like, yeah, I can run the cohorts. I can have these MSUs to out activate, but small units can still melt pretty quick. And, and once chain of commands was kicking in too, when you're losing your leaders, that they, falls they can't apart, march at all. Like that yeah. was rough. And, and just bring the thunderbolts on too yeah. quick. Yeah. That, too that, quick. They should always be dead last because yeah. then you it, can respond. My Xiphons will be on already. Be well, it's funny because the last time we played when I used them, I absolutely was doing it every time. I kept mm -hmm. holding them back, holding them back, holding them back. Yep. But, uh, you know, you don't play for two weeks. And two weeks? You don't play for forget, four months. Forget everything. <laughs> forget, all, forget all of the learning that you did last time around. Because um, I think, honestly, if you'd held them back, you'd gotten my Xiphons first. Right, because then my your my interceptors are dead, which means yeah. I don't get to double shoot anybody who's yep. flying all of a sudden. Yeah, and then you can just kind of safely hunt my my stormbird. Like, because there was nothing that you could stop the storm eagles from dropping people off with, but once the storm storm eagles have dropped everything, well, off, yeah, because once other gone, flyers, right, it makes it easier because yep. now I'm just dictating the flow of what's on the board. Whereas those planes, especially in that deployment and that playing lengthwise, those flyers go wherever they want to go. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no matter where I try to hide, like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to find you. Yeah. And there was no way for me to, there was no way really for me to stop, um, like stop and, and, and not have you out activate me even until turn four. I think you were still like until the, until the Sarastas night started like popping units, you had activated me the whole time. So like those flies yeah. were always coming on last. They're always going to get my storm. Like, but I need to be out activating you with anti-air sure i need to be out acting you yeah. uh, it was i think the like sentinels could have, i think the sentinels shooting with the crack rockets actually turned out being it, it, you know what because we didn't realize that in the last game with thousand points like oh it's all like can't do but no it does have the anti-tank so it yeah. is worth that hail mary it, yeah. it, it actually reinforces it's interesting because in the thousand point i went for the 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 single cohort the big list the big units which are powerful units mm -hmm. but then if you you're really constrained in where everything can deploy and then doing the two sub cohorts 
you have you can spread out more you have more activations but you have less punch per unit yeah so like a unit of eight sentinels is pretty scary to a flyer mm -hmm. absolutely yeah a unit of four sentinels eh. Yeah, not not but, so. But much. That's why I think you just take two units of four standing next to each other because then I can only target one or the other. You know what I mean? I can't split my guns with the the pliers. Yeah, but you also want to be rolling more dice at once sure. instead of separating out sometimes. I mean, it's it's there's merits to both. Yeah, uh, I think even with smaller units of sentinels are good at hunting light tanks. Mm -hmm. I think big units of sentinels are better for going after flyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think once you get your defensive stuff, the the rapiers and the tarantulas, and you start doing pioneers as yeah. well. Yeah, once you get the proper stuff. Deal. And, and I mean, and there's Kozen, so you can actually be like rolling up in in, in armored like uh, there's other flyers too. Yeah. It, yeah, like yeah. not just uh, depending on thunderbolts mm -hmm. um, or getting more thunderbolts. <laughs> also, instead of just two. also not a bad idea. Yeah. It, well, once you were running two detachments, you could add two flyer support things too. You could it, add two sets of, of exactly. Things. And yeah. I mean, you can have. I mean, depending on how you want to do the points, I could go real heavy into flyers and mm -hmm. just do trying to lightnings and superiority. thunderbolts. And... That could even be an interesting list of pioneers supported by. Just planes? Planes. Yeah. You start up table, then you don't have to worry about transports. Yeah. It's just, Solar Auxilia is World War One in space. Yeah. It's just what it is. Yeah. Uh, do you do the trenches or do you have your your crawling uh, transports? Mm -hmm. But your, your dudes are there to soak up damage. Everything else is there to do the damage. Yeah. And hold buttons so that they can do it when they want to do it. Like, yeah. that, I think the infantry being able to buy, buy out activating me so that you can maneuver then the things that actually are hitting pieces to like hit it where you want them to. Well, yeah. I think if you, if I had better activations and better means to get the, those, uh, tercios and stuff to objectives mm -hmm. and get them entrenched, then the decision for the opposing player is, okay, do I spend my time going after them, but now I'm ignoring the tanks and all right. the other heavy armor? Or do I go after the armor, but I'm not, but I'm giving up the scoring. I think mm -hmm. that seems to be where where the Solar Auxiliary really wants yeah. to. And the Marines that. also seem to be taking advantage of having more points on the table to be able to use more different assets to do different tactics. Like the combined arms thing kicks in more the, the bigger the game size oh, is. Oh yeah, I've got the flying, rocket the launchers like get there. real, get real nice yeah. in a game like that. When you're Absolutely. just like, here's my basic troops that have like straight up anti-tank weapons yeah. that are reaching out across the board. Sweet, well, I'm glad we did this because then we'll get to go home and paint some new stuff. You're yeah. gonna dip in and do some Solar Auxilia for 30K, yep. which means we'll be able to go back and forth in this timeline as well and showcase these two armies fighting each other. Um, so expect to see them, like some more of that soon. When Rob comes back, thanks for watching. We'll see you for more uh, Legions Imperial. Hell yeah.